Okay guys, so I decided before leaving to get some hangers that are all the same. I already had some that were this way, um, but I wanted to change all my hangers into the exact same thing so that it's more uniform. Uh, the pack itself wasn't expensive. I found it on Amazon, but I also found it in like a physical store, which I went to called Winners. Um, so here I'm just changing all of the hangers that I had into the newer ones. I love the way it looks. It's way cleaner. And I will be donating the old hangers um, in the local thrift shop. guys welcome to another youtube video guys don't worry it's not gonna stay like this i'm just doing a journal entry on my ipad before we get into the deep deep like nitty gritty of the video i think um you guys just saw that i did my sheets from now on i'm probably gonna be purchasing more linen because i just love the way it feels and i was told um for linen to really walk like put it through you know like washed a couple of times don't do only cold water like let it get some i don't know let it get active it's gonna soften over time if you do it that way um but after one wash like these are the most comfortable and it's it's so cool i got them i got the robe from parachute too and it's also made out of the same material and it doesn't overheat you but it doesn't let you stay cold anyways it's some sort of magic that's going on with linen. I want to do mermaid braids for the trip. I wanted to do it with human hair, but I might also do it in another method, which is also really good. I saw this girl on TikTok who was talking about them, and I was just like, it's looking like my type of thing. So I'm hopefully going to do that for nails. It's so complicated for nails. I don't know if I just want to do short, short, medium length, or even long. Like, I used to be a long girly, but... I started to go back to the short, like the short nail stuff. And I don't know if I'm going to do long just because it's a trip. I don't know. And then for lashes, I'm just going to do my regular. Everything that y'all have seen before. You've seen it in my other maintenance. Um, I did a maintenance vlog. I'm going to do the same exact set for this vlog. Well, this pack with me, a pack and prep with me video. All the stuff, all the fits, all the packing like i had these planned like all the outfits are planned <laughs> i might mix match when i'm there but for packing i planned everything out so i'm excited to finally um just put them away i washed all the stuff that i'm gonna be wearing on the trip because most of the stuff were bought um so they're brand new so i washed them because the last thing you want is to put a fresh bathing suit on that you bought and then stuff start itching and scratching and burning and bleeding and scratching and burning and bleeding. I think that's it. So you're gonna go on and watch the rest of the video. I'm gonna pop by, probably I'm gonna pop by again. Guys, I still haven't told anyone that I have YouTube. I haven't told my friends, my YouTube, none of my friends know. 
um they know but they don't at the same like they know i i didn't tell i said it like i slipped it out there like guys i might start youtube videos but i never told them my account name or anything and they haven't found my videos so everyone who's here all the 100 plus subscribers well, all of you guys basically found me organically through the youtube algorithm or something and yeah i think i'm gonna keep it this way because I don't know. I don't care if there's one subscriber or if I end up reaching my goal, which is, I think, 1,000 subscribers. I feel like I can do it without the help of having to promote myself on other platforms or telling people that I have YouTube. Because low-key, it's easier for me this way. I get to see what my real audience is like without any um, exterior influencer. I don't know what. But on top of that, uh, it's less pressure like i just feel like it's like a secret family or something and then when the other people are gonna find it they're gonna find it and be like oh like i saw you had youtube you already have oh my gosh when did you like why didn't you tell anyone and then i could be like mm, yeah yeah i haven't mean, yeah i think it's nothing really serious but i don't want to be telling people like oh guys i have youtube i have a youtube because then it's like Ugh. You only know because I told you. Like, I'm, I'm hoping people find out themselves, like, out of nowhere. Out of just seeing me and being like, <gasps> you know what I mean? But I'm thinking too far. Alright, so what I chose to do here is, in the clip that you guys were seeing, it was as if I organized all the packing tubes in categories. So all the bikinis in one, all the t-shirts in the other, all the pants in one, da da da. Right, I love packing that way because it's like, you know where everything is, all your dresses are in, whatever, I get it. But, last trip I had where I went to Dubai, my bag got delayed and... With that sort of packing method, the check-in bag didn't arrive within the first two days. I arrived, I think, on the third or fourth day. And so I was doing the first four days of the trip without real fits or my clothes or my stuff or just in general. It was terrible. So I reorganized them. I didn't film it because I just... I felt you would understand if I told you what I did, but what I organized them into this time was day one, day two, day three, day four. I had all the outfits organized. I'll show you guys over here. Um, so what I did was I put the packing tubes in that sort of way. So I'll have a packing tube that has day one and two outfits and then a packing tube that has day three and four. And those are going to go in my main, like my carry-on. And then the 
outfits for day five, six, and seven can go in my chicken. Okay. This luggage has a bunch of extra storage and pockets and stuff like that and compressors. And it has um, extenders, so I'm definitely going to put in any extra stuff that I don't feel like are urgently needed immediately. So yeah, follow me on that. So here we have our carry-on bag, obviously not allowed to have a lot of liquids in high volume, maximum is 100 milliliters or something like that. And bref, guys, look, let's pack it. Day one, two, three, and four are going to be packed over here, uh, which will make this very heavy. Now deep, deep down, I could put three and four in the check-in bag, but I just don't know. As much as I could fit in here, I will. So yeah, let's get to packing this and then that's gonna pretty much be the end of this video if I'm being honest. There's not much more for y'all to see. Uh, I found this waterproof phone case. I think it's so cute, so I'm gonna try and use it and hopefully It's waterproof like Like they tell me it is and that my phone doesn't get wrecked Yeah, that's the end of this video. Like I said, I will try and vlog Jamaica as best as I can. I do have a camera that I'm bringing it in, but it's not this camera. And this camera is like top tier. But I'm not bringing it overseas. So hopefully the other camera delivers just as well. If it doesn't, I'll still make it work. The thing is, I really want to do the vlog, not just because of content, whatever, whatever. Like I genuinely want to have some sort of video diary of my first girl's trip ever you know like there's a first for everything and this one I do want to be able to look back at it and see it and be like oh my gosh that was so much fun you know also when I was like when we were searching stuff about Jamaica it was so like we saw some vlogs but we wish there was more and I'm sure for other people who might be thinking of going to Jamaica if they see my vlog it might entice them or discourage them depending on what exactly they're looking for over there but yeah, I'm definitely going to try. Okay, if not a full vlog, for sure a reel. Or what's that thing? A YouTube short, for sure. Um, sorry, I feel like I covered everything. I do feel like I want to talk more, but flight to soon, you know? I, I, I can't. Um, <laughs> anyways, throughout the day I was writing down things that I need to pick up. Or like a don't forget. I said I was gonna pack my my handbag with y'all, but like honestly, it's just a handbag. Like, do I really have to show you an aesthetic version of how I pack my handbag? I think I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> so much to my secret family and I'll see you guys in the next video bye